Hello. I'm Teacher Lala. This is a new map reviewer for Grade 6. Task 1. Number Identification. We have a number here. Let's review the place value of each digit. Ones. Tens. Hundreds. Thousands. Ten thousands. We have to read this number from left to right. So, these number reads as 23,612. Another number. There's an added place value from the previous example. This number is in hundred thousands. This number reads as 733,341. Another number. There's an added place value from the previous example. The place value of this number is millions. This number reads as 3,643,500. What if the given number is in fraction? How are we going to read it? Let's review first the parts of a fraction. Fractions consist of two numbers separated by a slash. The number that appears before the slash is the numerator, while the number after the slash is the denominator. To express the fraction in words, write the numerator of a fraction spelled out in words exactly as it appears as a numeral. Like this one, we have a number 3 as numerator, so, we have to write it as 3. For the denominator, Write it as if you are writing the rank of a race or contest such as third, fourth, fifth, but in plural form. Thirds, fourths, fifths. Don't forget to write a hyphen. So, this fraction reads as, three-fifths. Another fraction. We have a numerator of four, and a denominator as thirty-nine. This fraction reads as, four thirty-ninths. What if the given number is a mixed fraction? Mixed fractions is also called as mixed numbers. This made up of a whole number adjoined to a fraction. Like this one. To write mixed fractions in words, write the whole number separated by the word end, and then the fractional portion. So, this mixed fraction is read as 6 and 3 fifths. What if the given is a decimal number? Let's use a place value chart. This part of the chart is for the whole numbers. And this part is for the decimal numbers. This too, is separated by a dot. If you notice, on the part of the whole numbers, the place value starts with ones. While on the decimal, it starts on the tenths. Let's say, we have this decimal number, this is read as, 8 hundredths. Another example of a decimal number. Just read this number from left to right, then add the place value of the last digit. This number is read as, 197 thousandths. What if a decimal number has a whole number? How is it to be read? Write the whole number part. Write and for the decimal. Then write the number on the decimal part. Don't forget to write the place value of the last digit. This number read as 6 and 100 thousandths. Another example of a decimal number. First, write this number, then, and for the decimal, then the number on the decimal part. Don't forget the place value of the last digit. This number read as, 877 and 9 hundredths. Another example of a decimal number. First, write this number, then, and for the decimal. Then the number on the decimal part. Don't forget the place value of the last digit. 
This number read as 1,321 and 32 thousandths. Good luck on your new math assessment. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you.